So the Pope lost some of his uh, I'm not a dick street cred. Um, he came out and said uh, having an abortion is like hiring a hitman. Wow. So here's uh, what he said according to Raw Story. Francis made his off-the-cuff comments on abortion, some of his toughest to date, in an address to tens of thousands of people gathered in St. Peter's Square for his weekly general audience. The Pope denounced what he called the contradiction of allowing the suppression of human life in the mother's womb in the name of safeguarding other rights. Quote, But how can an act that suppresses an innocent and helpless life that is germinating be therapeutic, civilized, or even simply human? I ask you, is it right to take out a human life to solve a problem? What do you think? Is it right? Is it right or not? He said in unprepared remarks. Many in the crowd shouted, no. Quote, is it right to hire a hitman to solve a problem? You cannot. It is not right to kill a human being regardless of how small it is to solve a problem. It is like hiring a hitman to solve a problem, he said. I like how he's now doing uh, Trumpian repeats of himself. That's a, a hallmark of Donald Trump and his rallies and stuff. Is I'm just going to... I'll say the same thing like eight times over. Now, I'm actually not hating on that because I think I'd probably repeat myself a, a fair amount. Uh, so I can't hate on that, but I think it's funny that the Pope is doing that now too. Uh, all right, so let's get to the substance of it. You know, I'm really sick of um, the lack of nuance in abortion discussion because it's it's like it has to be disingenuous. When people try to pretend, as the Pope is doing here, like, it's murder! It's murder! It's murder! It's murder! It's like you walked into your house and you saw your grandma sitting there, fully grown person with all of her rights, with an entire life, and you walk up and you shoot her in the head. That's what it's like. It's like murder, okay? And how many times? That's one of the go-to points from the far right if they're so-called pro-life is it's murder. It's what it is. So you're not willing to make a distinction between, for example, uh, maybe taking the morning after pill or not even the morning after Put that aside because that's not technically an abortion pill. But let's say taking the actual abortion pill, you're not willing to make an accept. Uh, you're not willing to d make a distinction between actual murder and taking a pill, or actual murder and uh, having a procedure for abortion within the first, say, I don't know, ten weeks. There's no. You're not making a distinction. Bill Maher used to have this joke in his stand-up where he said, "The second you're done having sex, uh, people on the far right would argue that there's a third person in the room." That's kind of true, they do. Like, the second you're done having sex. And he goes on to say, yes, that pile of goo is a human being. And it's a way to, <laughs> in a crass and comedic way, say, your point is so ridiculous that you're effectively arguing this, like, pile of goo is a person. It's like a zygote or a gamete. It's like, that's uh, yeah, it's equal to a human being. They have fucking Second Amendment rights and free speech rights. and But we all know that's ridiculous. Now... I think I actually think nuance is dead in a variety of ways, though, because I don't agree whenever anybody on the far left might say, oh, you can have no rules at all, even up until like whatever. I don't know, eight months in when you're in the third trimester and fully formed in every way. Yeah, I think that um, that is much closer to being immoral and unethical. And I think that there is room to have. Uh, reasonable regulations on the procedure because that's the way it already is. By the way, my position is actually right in line with what Roe versus Wade is. Now, it, Roe versus Wade has been amended in subsequent cases, so it's not fully standing on its own. But the whole idea of like fetal viability, yeah, you sh it should be, you know, 100% the choice of the individual female up until fetal viability. And then after that, the individual states have their own regulations where some states go, hey, we're strict after this line. In other states, the more democratic states go, we have rules, but it's just not as stringent as it would be in one of the more conservative states. So there, it actually is, like, people don't know this. When you look at uh, case law in the United States on abortion, it actually is uh, very nuanced. And in my opinion, very reasonable. Um, so the conversation surrounding it, though, is totally unreasonable. To pretend like fucking this procedure is equivalent to murder and hiring a hitman like are you actively trying to make a shitty point because you're gonna people are gonna shut off the second they hear that and they should shut off the second they hear that like what are you doing at least fucking 
temper your comments a little bit and be like, hey, man, late term, that might be a problem. Yeah, then, okay, we'll hear you out. <laughs> that's not that's not a crazy position to say, hey, when the nervous system is created and, and um, when the fetus is viable, eh, kind of questionable, isn't it? Yeah, we could hear that out for sure. But to pretend like it's a... Come on, man. And then the final point is uh, Pope Francis... Man of God, man of the Bible. The Bible's pro-abortion. I just we just spoke about this in a, a different segment. In the Bible, they talk about how your wife should drink bitter water if she cheated on you. And if she miscarries, has an abortion, after she drinks the bitter water, that's good because then that was the other dude's baby. That was the, his fetus. So if the Bible's pro-abortion, and virtually across the board, the hardline religious figures are against abortion, that makes no sense. It means you didn't read your fucking own book. Now, sure, there are other um, parts of the Bible where you can interpret it as being uh, against abortion, but actually the most straightforward interpretation is the, se the passage I gave you, which is very clearly pro-abortion. The one that they point to on the other side is, oh, um, uh, I knew you in the womb before I formed you, or something to that effect. And now, the, the point that people make is, hey, in context, he's talking, God in that, in the Bible is talking about a specific God, is talking about a specific person. Like, I knew that person in the Bible, uh, in the womb before I formed them. And it's not like a broader thing. And furthermore, that's still not saying, like, that, that abortion is, is wrong, because again, I just told you, it's a separate part of the Bible, they're talking about, you should have it if your wife cheats on you. So, I'm willing to give that it's mixed, but the funny thing is, you would think that if that's the case, the, the more left-leaning religious figures like Pope Francis, that he would be like, yeah, it's in the Bible, I'm pro-choice, so I'm pro-choice. But no. Even among the, the so-called left-leaning figures that are religious figures on the issue of abortion, they're still like, no, not for it, even though the Bible's for it. I don't even think they know that the Bible's for it, which is just ridiculous. I think the only, I think Islam is actually okay with, uh, with abortion and reproductive choice so which is interesting but anyway i digress this has already been too long of a segment bottom line is um mr i'm the cool pope mm, turns out he's got plenty of blind spots